Funding for the Railways of Crotunia has been brought to you by Patreon. For as low as $1 a month, you can help get new videos out faster by helping bring in money to get more time and help with producing these faster. You'll also get access to all kinds of other cool things, or receive cool things depending on how high you go, including the models we use for the series, ooh. To learn more, visit patreon.com slash the Toon channel to learn more and help contribute to our silly little train cartoons. And thanks to all our patrons for making this episode possible. One morning, Sasha the little local polar engine was at the seaside roundhouse. She noticed Emma turning around to go to Selgra Bay instead of Gridinia Bay. What are you going? Won't you have something to do? Not yet. Dockmaster Noisy wants me to welcome the newcomer. There is a newcomer? There was. A new engine had arrived to Cretunia. Her name was Audrey, and she was quite a different engine compared to many of the other Crotunians. She had a big, bulky buffer beam, smart, dark blue paintwork, and a big, sturdy tender. She was about to go on her maiden voyage, and a large group of engines were there to welcome the new engine to the crew, with the newly christened Seaside Soarer. Hello, welcome to our railway. Let me know if you need anything shunted. How much coal can your tender carry? But Audrey was very quiet. She didn't seem to care much about the questions and comments. As Sasha arrived backwards, Audrey's first train set off for Brofflin Harbor. Sasha saw the powerful engine roar out of the docks. She was impressed by how strong she was and how long and fancy her new carriages were. But then she remembered she was a very small train, with very small carriages. Carriages that had to load outside the platform. It made Sasha feel very lowly indeed. Sasha's job was to pull the local, a small passenger train that stopped at every station to drop off all kinds of passengers and workers. Captains to Selgra Bay docks, miners and crane operators to Bartlett Bay, tourists to Groflin Harbor, beachgoers to Coast View Junction, and workers to Gradinia Bay Junction. The days were long and busy for the little engine, but she loved looking at all the different things on her route. Cliffs covered in moss, waves rippling along the coastline, trees standing proud and strong on their perches, and small seaside towns busily going about their days. But whenever Audrey passed by, roaring with her carriages and important passengers in tow, it always made her feel silly. I look at the scenery, making my passengers late, while Audrey is fast and on time. Later that day, as she was on her way back, she ran down the little line on the cliffs of the salt mines, where she found a very shocking sight. There, blowing steam from what looked like every cylinder of her boiler, was Audrey. Are you alright, Audrey? asked Sasha. Well, started Audrey in a very flat voice. Pistons are pumping, water pressure is good, steam pressure, not so much. I do need to get these passengers moving again though. They're catching a ship to Britain at Groflin Harbor. Then, Sasha got an idea. I can take your passengers to the docks. That's my next stop with my train. Oh, but my carriages aren't fancy and glamorous. They don't have dining bars or sleeper beds. Just plain old seats and luggage racks. Well, do you get your passengers to their places on time? Well, not all the time. Sometimes the scenery takes away my focus and- I mean I don't blame you, said Audrey, to the shock of Sasha. This railway's got some pretty looking scenery. But the point is, if you're steaming and you got coaches, you're good. You got this little bud. With that, Sasha had found confidence she'd never had before. Whistling, Peep peep! Get in quickly please! Audrey's passengers for Groflin climbed into her carriages, 
and the little engines set off for the docks. Sasha's carriages were heavier than usual, but she was determined to make it to the docks on time before the ship left for Britain. Her funnel was firing smoke and steam like never before. Her pistons rattled as she built up steam, and she was moving so much past her usual top speed that a local fisherman lost his hat to the sea, where a whale found it a fine new addition to its Sunday best. Finally, the little engine reached the docks, just in time for the ship to collect its last load of passengers. Then, Sasha hurried over to Skipper Stu. We've got an emergency! Audrey's broken down near the salt mines. We need the breakdown gang and dock as soon as possible. Leave it to me, said Skipper Stu. Doc and the workmen carefully examined Audrey, whose steam had dampened down quite a bit from earlier. Duck had already taken her carriages away, and Sasha had let Oliver take the last of her passengers home to bring over tools to mend her. Well, you're very lucky, Audrey, said Doc. You just had a tad too much pressure buildup in your pistons. Common issue with a new build. Thanks, Doc. But you know, I'd have been a bigger goner without Sasha. She was the real hero of this situation. If she hadn't run so gallantly, a lot of people would have missed their boat. Wish I had the same control you seem to with all of those hills, I tell you. Sasha couldn't help but blush a little. It made her feel bigger and stronger than she thought she was. Audrey and Sasha are now firm friends. Audrey sometimes asks Sasha for help, but sometimes has to remind Sasha not to keep comparing herself to her. She's an amazing engine, just the way she is.